You know, it's interesting why I haven't been posting on YouTube all that much. I've been on social media for, for years now. And most of you watching this probably don't even know who I am. I got 1,000 subscribers when this video is getting posted. Um, I've grown, I'm in the sauna right now, that's why I'm breathing like this. You can see that sauna right here. Um, <clears throat> ooh, I look good in the light here. But, you know, I've grown my Twitter to 30 something thousand, my Instagram to 20 something thousand. I've grown millions and millions of followers on, on my brand pages. I've grown clients at my agency and my consulting company over the years um, to thousands, if not millions of followers combined. No, millions and millions of followers combined. And the thing is, like, I've always wanted to do YouTube. When I started this whole online business thing, I wanted to do YouTube. And for some reason, that didn't happen for me. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't do it. And you can see if you look at my channel right now, I don't know, I got maybe like 10 videos, something like that. And I want to talk about this because I think it's an important lesson. I, I've been put, putting videos out. I, I have film videos, stuff like that. You know, on my, on my Twitter and my Instagram, I was always me. I was raw, authentically me, myself. Whatever came to mind, I just, I just wrote up and I posted. Whatever came to mind, I just got on camera and I, I filmed it. You know, I've done that on YouTube a little bit too with my podcast, me and my former business partner, Logan, which we're gonna bring the podcast back. If you know what that is, the associates, we did that. We, you know, we grew that to, I don't know, like 10,000 subs. We had some really big guests on like Iman and Luke Belmar and stuff like that, like Grego Gallagher, whatever, Sneeko. Um, but we did that, we did that raw and authentic. But it seems like with my personal brand on YouTube, I haven't been able to go and, and do it raw and authentic myself. And I don't know why. You know, it's, it's a conversation that I have with a lot of my clients like, oh, just like go and be yourself and go and do your thing. Like just, and I did that on Twitter and Instagram, but I haven't been able to do it on YouTube. I've been, I don't know, just like overthinking it. Like I've, I've hired a couple of different agencies, different consulting people, da, da, da. And finally, one of my team members, one of my employees that, that works with a lot of our clients, shout out Reese, he's like, dude, why don't you just go do what you do on Twitter and Instagram? Why don't, why don't you just go do that on YouTube? It's getting hot as shit in here. Holy, and it's tough to hold this camera. I gotta get like a tripod or something. But he's like, why don't you just go do that on YouTube? Why don't you just go be yourself? And I'm like, yeah, like, why don't I do that? Because I've been hiring people to do all these stupid fancy edits and bullshit. And sure, like I agree with that, but like I just said bullshit, or like I said the fact that I'm in the sauna earlier, or I said, oh, it's, I stood up and it said, oh, it's hot. All that stuff gets cut out and all like the sarcasm and just who I am and the energy behind it, it gets cut out. It gets taken out of the videos when I hire an editor, when I, when I bring someone on like that. And people don't get to see who I am. And so, I think that a lot of that comes down to overthinking it, wondering, oh, will this be good? I haven't done YouTube before really, like for my personal brand, even though we grew our podcast. And so will this, will this be good? Will this work? And I think I have a little bit of imposter syndrome or just like a weird thing about it where I want it to work right off the bat and I want it to look good. And all these other guys, they're doing this with the edits and da 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 and all that. And like, I own a social media company, so what I should do on YouTube should be, um, you know, good off the bat. And honestly, a lot of it is just like, suck it the fuck up. That's what it is. I'm good on camera. I can talk to the camera. I haven't really said any ums and ahs and bullshit and sat here and, and thought about what I'm going to say. This will pro I'll probably upload this as a one take video. And the fact is, it wasn't that I was scared to upload. I was just like unsure or I was, it was like an unknown, like, Will this work? Will this be good? Will this? And the fact is, I just got to post. The same thing I tell my clients, the same thing I've done year over year for the past five or six years with all my brands and my personal brand on Twitter and Instagram. And dude, I just got to post. I just got to post. I just got to do what I'm good at. And that's where, and when it comes down to YouTube, that's what I've just been in my head about. And I think it's something that maybe you can relate to if you're watching this based on the title or whatever I put up. Like, if, if you're contemplating growing or wanting to grow your brand or wanting to do it, the first step is to post. And my phone is like 
overheating here, so I'm gonna go step outside. Um, but the, the first step to all this stuff is to just post. The first step to all this stuff is to just go and get it done. The first step to all this stuff <coughs> is to be consistent. And I know that more than anybody because I've built my brand on all these channels and I've built, I've built other people's brands and I've built my own faceless pages and faceless brands. And the fact is, if you want it, if you want to build your brand, if you want to grow, if you want to be the greatest at something or you want something in life, <coughs> the fact is you got to just go and do it. You got to pick up the camera and you got to record. You got to pick up the phone and dial if you're a sales guy. And so I, I don't know even why I'm making this video other than I know this is my first video back where I'm going to do this raw authentic style. I'm done with the bullshit edits. I'm done feeling castrated on camera. I'm, I'm done not getting what I want <coughs> out of my brand and, and growing what I want on social. And honestly, I'm not going to say that I think I can get famous. I'm just going to be me. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be authentic. I'm going to do what I do best. And that's just put my message out there, be who I am, <coughs> help people, document the growth of my business and share the fact that all this stuff is possible. Like just a couple five years ago, six years ago, it was, it was like 20, 2017. I dropped out of college. I got a job selling cars <coughs> after that. Jeez, I need some water. I got a job selling cars after that. While I was doing that, I grew my first business online. I was doing drop shipping for a while. Didn't really work. And I started growing Instagram brands, faceless Instagram pages that developed in my agency. I built my consulting company. I started to build my personal brand. And now it's like, dude, there's so much opportunity out there. And to me, YouTube is that next opportunity to grab. And so if you're someone out there that's like watching this and wondering, and maybe you followed me for a while, maybe you're just, you know, finding me now. I'm going to probably plug this on my Instagram, my Twitter. So I'm sure some of you are, are, you know, following me already and like know me. Um, but if, if you're someone like that, that's seeing this and seeing me vulnerable, dude, I make, I'm 25 years old. I make a million dollars a year. Um, I've been growing my business for a while now. We're probably going to go and hit the eight figure mark like this year, like eight figures this year is my goal. Uh, and I think I will smash it. And I'm talking to you like I have imposter syndrome or I'm like, I'm going through the same mental mindset, whatever thing. It happens at every single level. It's the same lesson at every single level. You get to 10K a month, you get to 50K a month, you get to, it's the same thing. It's the same <coughs> little hurdles that you have to co overcome each time. And so if you're wondering if you should start and you're wondering if you're like, oh, well, I don't know. And should I grow my brand or should I start my business or should I do whatever I think that I want to do? Maybe you just want to get fit or maybe you just want to start that sport. Or maybe you want to go talk to some girl or something like that. All, all I'm telling you is the only way you're going to be good at it and the only way is you're going to grow the brand the, the same way, the only way I'm going to grow on YouTube, which is what I've wanted. I don't know if anyone knows this, or I might have talked about it on the podcast way long ago, but the first thing I tried to do was YouTube and they sucked. It was on this channel and I deleted them all. It was awful. That was before I even started drop shipping while I was selling cars. It sucked and it was awful. But if I had stuck with it and I had kept documenting every single day, my channel would be huge by now. And so for me, growing my YouTube is good for my business. It's good for me spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially. And it, it, it's an added benefit to my life. And that's what I want. You know, I want added benefits like that to my life. I want to grow in life. And so for me, growing my YouTube is the thing that gets me to the next level. And so all I'm going to say to you guys is it's the same game in every little piece of life. And it's the same thing that I've learned when I first started making money, when I started making money, when I first started making money, when I'm making money right now, it's the same little mind tricks and mindset, whatever, and blah, blah, blah. And the only thing to it is to do it. Um, <laughs> as cliche as that sounds. So look guys, um, this is my first raw authentic video. I don't think I'm going to cut anything out of this at all. I'm about to jump back in the, in the sauna here outside my gym. It's kind of a dope spot here in South Florida. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, if you guys want to see more of this, I'm going to be uploading a ton of videos similar to this. I need to get a tripod. Uh, I'm about to go on a road trip. So maybe I'll set the thing up in the, in the car, be like a car vlogger, whatever bullshit. And, um, I'm going to just document the growth of my business. I'm, I'm going to be talking about life lessons. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and how you can grow your business on social media too. Cause that's what I do for a living. I consult people and I help people at my agency. 
and we offer a lot of different services like that and so oh damn there's these fans here i hope it doesn't sound like shit on camera comment below if it sounds like shit on camera i'll probably hear this obviously before i upload it um but look guys i appreciate you being here i appreciate you watching this if you don't already subscribe to me subscribe to me if you have a suggestion for something that i should talk about if you already follow me or you think i have you know maybe some insight i can give you or you've seen the podcast you got a question drop it below and i will be posting i'm not gonna promise definitely weekly uh, maybe twice maybe three times i would love to post daily and so we'll see depends on how i feel but this is the first raw authentic talking video my lesson is go and fucking do it like basically like some weird motivation shit but like if you want it you got to go do it the only thing that's holding you back is consistency the only thing that's been holding you back from youtube is not being consistent is not actually doing this and so like i said if you guys want more of these comment your thoughts below drop me a subscription if you want to con connect with me dm me on twitter or instagram my link is below and i'll see you guys in the next one